Joined now by head coach Jamel Elliott following UC's 92-54 win over Clarendon. Coach, we've talked over the last several games. We've really seen this team getting better and better, putting forth more quality minutes. And I think this, uh, not only just the score, but the overall performance of your team, the best of the season. You know, I was glad they needed that. You know, they needed the result. They needed the reward because they, they've been working so hard. They've been giving me everything they have in practice from an energy standpoint, effort standpoint, focus standpoint. Um, and today, Clarion, you know, was the next team on our schedule. Um, and they came out and they played hard. You know, I know they're not used to playing against this type of pace, but um, I think we did a good job of maintaining our pace. More importantly, like you mentioned, we actually got better today in the game, and it was able to show um, with the result for the first time in three games. So I'm happy to get back in the winning column. I'm happy that everybody got an opportunity to play. I'm happy that everybody got an opportunity to score when they played. Um, defensively, you know, it wasn't our best full court game, um, but hey, I'm happy with the W. Certainly always great to, to put another one in the W column. How about uh, Tanisha Coleman today as a freshman? We've we've seen her increase her minutes here as of late, start to you know knock down some shots, and today and she just couldn't miss out there, really uh, starting to show what she can do for this team. Well, you guys starting to see. You know, in practice, she makes every single shot she takes. You know, if you give her an open shot, she's going to make it. You know, she's just been having to adjust to the pace of the game on this level, the defense on this level, having to keep being able to keep guys in front of us, her, um, knowing the switching and knowing staying, knowing get through screens. So once she continues to get better on the defensive side, although today, you know, her plus minus, she was still plus 11, scoring 18 points, even though she gave up some points. So I'm happy for T. She does everything I ask her. Try, she tries to do everything I ask her to do in the rest of the staff. So I'm glad for her to get some results today as well. Yeah, it certainly showed uh, her confidence uh, continues to grow. Looking at the rest of the team, I mean, we, we said everybody scored in this one. Uh, she had a career high. Uh, Maya Benham had a season high. Um, from some of your lead scores, normally, uh, Anna Owen, Shanice Johnson, they were in double figures, but I felt they did a really good job of kind of playing within themselves today. It was a very efficient day from them. Uh, Bianca Quisenberry, another player, comes to mind from that as well. Yeah, it's second game in a row, uh, Bianca has imposed her will on the game. I thought she did the same thing against Georgia. You know, Shanice and Anna could have scored 20 today. Um, you know, talking to Anna before the game, her goal was to get 10 assists today. She got eight and she got no turnovers. So that's almost like getting 10 assists. So I told her she played with a sense of steadiness today. She was settled. You know, I thought in the Georgia game, she was not settled at any point in the game. She was trying to push too much. So I was happy to see her play within the game today and the results, she got them. So hopefully she'll continue to play that way. Finally, now looking at this game, I guess it's part of the bigger picture on the season. You know, we mentioned following the last several games, the team was getting better. Sometimes it, it may be tough to see that when you see the final score, but the team was getting better, and it, it really shows that they've continued to buy in, and, and they didn't let those results get to them, and the, the, the improvement continues. Well, we, 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 our goal is to prepare to win in practice, play to win in the game, and then today, hopefully, we're getting closer to learning how to win once we are in the game. And, you know, that's the next step for us. And we won it. You know, we won it. We won it. And today, we wanted it for 40 minutes. And, um, you know, it's one game. You know, I'm not settled yet as far as us getting better. I still want us to get better in practice. You know, I don't look at the results of the score today. I'm going to look at the defensive lapses, you know, the things like that, that we just need to tighten up and be more aware of in the moment um, because we have another game on Wednesday, and we're not going to take this team lightly. We still want to continue to get better. We still want to prepare to win, and we have two days to do that before Wednesday. All right, Coach, we're looking forward to uh, seeing that game at 3 p.m. on Wednesday and uh, continuing to see this team uh, take those steps as we get ready for conference play. Thank you. Looking forward to it. Hopefully I'll see everybody. New game time, 3 o'clock on Wednesday. So if you're available, you want to play a little hooky from work, we'll see you at 530 at 3. Should be fun uh, to get uh, the, the holiday uh, atmosphere here for that game and, uh, yeah, a chance to get here when the weather's still <laughs> not uh, brutally cold. So, Coach, we'll see you then. All right, thanks so much. All right, that's head Coach Jamel Elliott as UC defeats Clarion 92-54 to to move to 7-4 on the season. It's a 92-54 win for UC over Clarion Sunday afternoon, and the lead scorer for the Bearcats freshman, Tanisha Coleman, uh, you were perfect from the field, from behind the arc, from the line today. You couldn't miss out there. Um, Yeah, it's something that I've been practicing and make sure after practice I get extra shots in, and I wanted to give a lot of credit to my teammates for giving me the opportunity to get those shots. Um, I think that we played really well out there as a team. It seemed like today, you know, it really wasn't any – you had your stretch in the second half. We saw stretches from other players, but it wasn't kind of a focused one player taking over the game. It really seemed like this team was playing uh, in rhythm with each other from the opening tip-off. Yeah, um, especially with Coach Elliott, that's something that we're really trying to get into with working with all the players and making sure all the players are active, active on the floor and making sure that it's not just two players or three players that's on the stat sheet. 
Well, that certainly showed today. And uh, now talking about you, uh, we've seen your minutes increase here over the last several games. You've uh, you've been able to increase your scoring. Looks like you're really getting comfortable out there. Um, yeah. I think I had a really rough start when I came here. It was different. Um, I think just getting in the gym more, making sure that I'm getting extra shots after practice and before practice, getting some work in with the coaches, making sure that I can really get those shots and knock those shots down when I'm in the game. I think that's really helping me get more playing time. Well, you certainly shot the ball with confidence today. Congratulations on your 18-point performance. We'll see you here on Wednesday against East Illinois. Thank you. All right, that's freshman Tanisha Coleman as the Bearcats win over Clarion, and she leads the team with 18 points.